What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Matt Regin, a.k.a. Tom here, coming back to you again with another banger video. Ooh, it's Monday, so you know it's Mojo Monday, baby! Let's go! Topic of the day is Top 10 Greatest Steel-Type Pokemon. I'm a huge fan of Pokemon. If y'all don't know, go ahead and check out my other videos on the channel, like the Pokemon Tower Defense series. And, hey, I know somebody else who loves Pokemon just as much as I do. His name's Dakota. He's one of my boys. He went ahead and threw me a challenge for the Ghost Pepper Fries. If you haven't checked that video out, go ahead and check it out after you get done watching this. Uh, Steel type Pokemon are cool. Got introduced in the second generation. My favorite, personally, is Lucario. But if I have to go ahead and guess some of the other ones that are going to be on this list, it's definitely going to go ahead and be Lucario, Steelix, Scizor, and Aggron. It could be in any kind of Order, but I really feel like Lucario's got to be in the top three. Same with Scizor and Aggron. Those are my, like my strong ones here. Uh, Carnivore is pretty good too, I believe, is a steel type, but we're going to go ahead and find out. And hey, let's get to this video, man. Lucario also brought us Aura Sphere, which was so badass. Hey, Pokemon's so great, man. It's straight up just this action right off the bat. Oh, Pippa. Or Empoleon. Emporion. Sorry, not Empoleon. Oh, love it. Wait. Jirachi? Wait, Jirachi? Is Jirachi part of a steel type? I feel so dumb if it is. Because I really didn't think it was a steel type. It's a wish maker, man. What up, Ash? We love you, man. The channel, we love you, baby. Except for you make a crazy list at times. Oh, that's going to be a good one, too. I completely forgot. Mowile, okay. I really was not expecting Mowile to be a steel type. I thought it was just like maybe a ghost. Marvile seems like it's a plant type. Change to the slightly more appropriate steel slash fairy dual type. See, okay, so it doesn't even look like a steel type. To me, it doesn't feel like it's a steel type. Basharp is this low. Oh, I wonder what Basharp. Like, I wonder what's gonna be ahead of Basharp. Me personally, I thought Basharp was gonna be in a top five. This Pokemon resembling some kind of samurai bug, or maybe a common rider. Bishop is the common rider for sure. Great battle, by the way, too. Alan versus uh, Ash. Even though Ash was for sure gonna win, except for you know they're just like, eh, you gotta wait longer. Cause this was like Ash's strongest team in my opinion before obviously Master Quest. That Greninja was overpowered. Like I said, great battle. Loved every second of it. Number eight, Steelix. Steelix, yeah. I, I still can't believe Brock evolved his Onyx. Like I said, I it was one of the coolest introductions, like steel types. Got introduced into the second gen. Kind of changed the game. Yeah, it's so cool. Like, wait, wait for it, wait for it. It looks so cool. Like, come on. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're having our first argument of the day here. Agron, not even in the top five. A giant kaiju type. Come on, man. It was so cool looking. I know my boy Dylan, aka Lord Pickle, he gonna be furious when he watches this too because that's one of his top Pokemon. And yeah, Agron deserves so much more love. This is so disrespectful, Watch Mojo. We, we're done with the disrespect. I wonder what other steel types there are because I can see Carnivore being up there or Cro... If I'm saying the name wrong, the the steel bird. I know I'm butchering it possibly. Which even looks even more badass. Simple as that. It's a tank, a juggernaut, whatever you want to call it. Mega evolved Agron is ridiculous. Oh, boo, boo, boo. There is no way that Exadrill should be higher than Agron. This is blasphemy. This is where this is where Watch Mojo is trying to play funny and be cute with this because there is no way anybody in their right mind would say Exadrill is better than Agron. This is so disrespectful. Put some name on our boy Agron's name. Done with this already. Watch Mojo is on is on some funny stuff. They need drug tested because there is no way. Who cares? It's a whack-a-mole. I don't care. Agron's a giant kaiju. He's Godzilla. Oh wow. I know I'm being so rude to this, but come on. Oh, I forgot about Skarmory. So cool. Another Gen 2. That makes sense. Definitely deserves to be in the top five. But I'm still disappointed in that Agron take. Scars! Like Charmander. Charm! 
Thanks to its fierce and distinctive look, has had a popularity that has proven as durable. I mean, its plumage. can you complain? Look at it. We wouldn't want it's a flying steel though. bird. Oh, Caesar. Scizor is four? Scizor's not even in the top three? Come on, man. Who is out beating who's out beating Scizor? This is so disrespectful. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. How do you put Scizor not even in the top three? Like I know Lucardo's gonna be in there for sure, but like still. I love Gliscor's like the way that he says his name in the anime. Gliscor! But still though, Scizor is so disrespected. Same with Agra, man. So, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like look how cool it is! They made they made Scyther look even cooler. I mean, I guess. It's a sword that can use a shield. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's cool to a degree. But uh, who's number two, man? Because I'm pretty sure it's... I'm pretty sure it was a banned Pokemon at one time for, like, tournaments. I'm, don't quote-unquote me, but it was just so OP in X and Y. Okay. Okay. Comet Punch. Oh, Look Meteor Mash, like my apology. Alright, Met Metacross is cool, but like... Uh, I still would've put Scissor ahead of Aegislash. But this Pokemon's monstrous strength is no joke. But it is a tank, though. Its Mega Evolution is so cool. It's powerful. It's basically a giant tank. Look at this, she's like... <laughs> it's a flying spaceship, man. Alright, what's an honorable mention? Corviknight. A bird in shining. I'm a little salty because I really thought Corviknight was going to be in it. Who's the other one? How does eh. this UFO looking Pokemon Th fly? Magnus. This thing deserves that to be on the honorable mention. That was a Magnezone. Oh my god. I love how he's like, oh, I don't believe you. I gotta go check the Pokedex. Oh shit. Bronzong. The eh. for Forget it. I don't even care. I'm glad that thing didn't make the list. I think I would have been a little more upset if like one of the other ones were on there. You know, I respect that they did not put a legendary into into the list. Because I feel like that just wouldn't be fair, so good deal. We'll see how the other typing videos go, but yeah. Number one, Lucario. I mean, it makes sense. Lucario is a badass choice. Steel fighting. Can use Aura Spear, which is awesome. It has good moves. Its Mega Evolution is amazing. I mean, Lucario deserves the top spot. It is the king of the steel types. Y'all can argue with me about that. But I mean, come on. It's a fighting dog that's a steel type. And it's Mega Evolution? Oh, so cool. Like, look at this. Come on. You know, at the end of each video of these reactions, we make a pros, cons, and we also make that lovely rating. Pros? There was a bunch of good choices on there. There was like maybe one for the honorable mention. But besides that though, all the right ones were in there. Um, cons, placement. Placement, 110%. Like, the, <sighs> Lucario, you got on the money. I give you that. I really th feel like Cornivore should have been on the list. It should have took out somebody. I don't know who, but it had to take out somebody because it's a steel bird. Like, <sighs> Scizor, got, was, Scizor got disrespected. Agron, psh, that was the biggest slap in the face for me right there. And I mean, I don't know if y'all feel the same way. So, we got to give a rating. Uh, rating, I give it a... We'll give it a 4.3 out of 5, just because that placement was kind of wonky. And, like, it was a good list altogether, but to me, I personally feel like they could have they could have at least shown a little bit of love to, like, some of the OGs, like Agron and, I mean, Steelix I would have put a little bit higher, too, but, like, not too much more, but just wild. Watch Mojo is just crazy. It's always on some crazy stuff, man. We... I don't even know how to feel about Watch Mojo half the time because they just they, they make me question my own knowledge, even though I know they're always trying to just poke at us and just get a reaction out of us. It, it's what they're good at. It's what they're good at. 
But hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. You want to be part of the greatest nation ever, the Reggie Nation. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe. Hey, leave a comment down below if your favorite Steel Pokemon got on the list, or if you were a little disappointed at some kind of placement, or you would change anything. Then hey, don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell. You don't miss out on any more amazing content coming to the channel. And as always, folks, keep it Reggie.